Well, welcome to the Chaos uh, DEI meeting here on April 19th, um, 2023. Um, auspicious day in the history of America and other places. So, um, who's wait, who said no to my question here? No. Is that you? Matt? That does be Matt. That's a Matt. <laughs> Is it right me. there, <laughs> or as I call him, Brian? It's a it's a Brianism. No. All right. You didn't follow so, the rules. The rules are pick one. All right. So who wants to facilitate next week? Because I will not be able to. I can do it. All right. Done. So now we've got event location inclusivity and equity metric. Uh, you want to yeah, I worked this? on that, and I think Kevin had some comments. If I recall from Slack, maybe. Yes. So could you remind me again what the issue was here? Uh, so I'm I I have concerns about merging equity with uh, event location inclusivity. So the the event location inclusivity metric was for all practical purposes or uh, it was done almost a um, month ago maybe mm -hmm. and we were going to we were going to push it towards uh, uh, release uh, so I was a little surprised when the when it had jumped back onto the agenda to add equity to it uh, so my, so my, my issue is that it's it's two different things uh, so it kind of muddies the uh, it muddies the metric in the same way that event location accessibility is a different metric, I think event location equity is a different metric. And it's a and I think it's a metric that's important enough that it deserves its own document rather than trying to uh, force it all into into one document that kind of dilutes the the meaning of both. And just for a little context, sorry, just just for a little context, um, the event location inclusivity, I think it had had been released, or like you said, Kevin was super close to being released. It, but we have this on the other, bottom it was, but I yeah, don't, yeah, we had this know. other metric that was just event location. That's all it was, and um, in the the body of that metric talked a little bit about equity. And mm -hmm. the only thing that that metric did was just put all of, assuming an open source project had multiple events. They put them all out on a map to see if they were all located like in one place, if they were spread out. So that that was the metric. And so we had talked about trying to kind of lump it into something else because it I don't know. It, I mean, maybe it is its own metric and that's kind of where we were trying to decide. Um, so, I mean, it's it's fair to, to pull it back out. I don't I don't have a problem with that at all. Um, so I, but it just, am... it just felt like it didn't really uh say a whole lot because it was literally just like a list here's your events and here's where they are and and like how many open source projects have multiple events that are worried about that enough to have its own event? that was my kind of feeling like there's maybe a handful of projects that have events all over the place and you know often like meetups and things like that i think but it you know again i don't, I don't have strong feelings about it either way so i could be talked into either way <laughs> uh, so i i am familiar with the other metric that you're talking about and you're right that metric was that metric was a little light uh and it was basically just a it was just a list of where the the metric is metra or where the uh events were at so i agree that that metric needs some attention and i and i also agree that adding equity to that metric would be would be really good so because equity is equity is not just about the location it's also about the the number of occurrences in one location or the distribution of events in different regions versus other regions, uh, <clears throat> which is which is also one of the I think one of the reasons that uh, it shouldn't be uh, included in inclusivity, because oftentimes you might actually have to weigh inclusivity against equity uh, for, for example. Uh, uh, according to that inclusivity metric, it's, it might be less desirable to have an event in Texas and more desirable to have an event in California. So then when we, when we look at the event 
equity metric, what you see is a lot of conferences are happening in California, and, and perhaps that's because <clears throat> it's a more inclusive environment. It also, but it also could be due to population size. So I think I think you can. I think we need to have them separate uh, because they need to. We need to be able to uh, think of them separately and maybe weigh them against each other. Yeah, Does that um, make sense? Yeah. I have a hard time with um, deciding. I have a hard time with having an opinion about this. Strangely, um, <clears throat> I guess it's a question of um, from Kevin. From your perspective, this doesn't fit with what's effectively an already released metric. It kind of expands the boundaries of it. However, I I, I also see the point of view that the metric. Um, <clears throat> In some sense, the like these original three things, really, really, it's these these additional three things that, like, if I wanted to know the first three things, I'm probably curious about the second three things, and so it's a question. I mean, it's a granularity question for the metrics, um, not really whether we should have this equity part, but whether it should be part of this. Um, my perspective is is becoming one of. Um, Every metric we create is a flower. Is a flower we have to water <laughs> along the along the way. Here, me, <laughs> I, 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 oh, go ahead, Matt. I was going to say, let me provide just a thought experiment here on this metric. Yeah. Say that you're an event organizer, mm -hmm. and we were to add this to the DEI event, you know, badge. Mm -hmm. If you were an event organizer, I do feel like we have. A, my own thought experiment is we have a couple different things we're asking here. So if I'm looking at that list that you have up right now, Sean, mm -hmm. you know, it's asking kind of what the original metric was about. Yeah, I think these, these, and then just, yeah. when we add four five and six, that seems like a different set of questions for an event organizer. Like I'd be like, do I have to do both of these things? Can I just do part of them? Um, so from my perspective, it does look like this metric got a, a little confounded when we tried to add it. Kevin? I would uh, additionally, if we were to if we were to pull those three out and add them to a metric that would be just event location equity, I feel like there are three or four more that we could add to it uh, that would that would uh, give us more detail on on equity. Yeah, because if we pull those out as an event organizer, I feel like I'm being asked to consider where the event is being held with respect to an inclusivity perspective, full stop. And I, I can answer that question, like, as an event organizer. If I'm like, every time we always have our events, you know, according to that map, Sean, if you scroll up just a little bit, yep. like we always have our events in, or this event is in any of those blue states, Nebraska, Wisconsin, like that's, you can kind of, you can answer that as an event organizer. I'm going to put in the chat the original I mean, if, event. My read, my read of this is like, you'd only want to be in the green states. Well, that's right. I mean, that's yeah. what I'm saying. If we had the event organized in, say, Florida, yeah. you'd be like, hmm, maybe we should. <laughs> However, the, the metric does allow for being in regions like Florida, for example, as, for long, sure. as, the, as long as the event organizers address it with the, uh, with the conference attendees. Yep. So. so what I'm hearing is um, we want to return back to the event location metric that was originally. And I, I put a link in the Zoom chat. Mm -hmm. to that so if somebody like i don't know if anybody wants to work on that like we can just close this out because the event location inclusivity has been released already mm -hmm. so we can just like delete this basically or well, roll I mean, it back revert it you know well, what, what i'd suggest elizabeth is if we want to do event location equity as a separate metric um i would just make a copy of this and start there <laughs> well we have one already we have, we have in the chat but um oh, oh okay i misunderstood what was going in chat 
Yeah. So basically, I was taking that origin that document and trying to merge it into the event location inclusivity, just for brevities and you know brevity sake. So, but um, some of the stuff I you, you're right though. Some of the stuff I did add into that other metric could. Why don't we just take what you have added the the pink text? Mm -hmm. You know, you go here. back to that equity one. If you if you'd like, yeah. since I'm the one that voiced concern on it, I can I can take the lead on moving equity forward, unless unless you unless some someone else would prefer to. No, that'd be great, Kevin. And I think yeah, the easy, easy place to start might be just taking like that text that Elizabeth added there. Oh yeah, definitely. And just just like any of that pink text, just cut yep. and paste Move it over. that over. Yeah. yeah. All I'm saying is don't don't undo Elizabeth's edits until you've moved the text. Yeah, <laughs> that was the that was the point I was trying to get at very pragmatically, because you know I've done things like that before. <laughs> okay, so I think I think we're good on that one then. Mm -hmm. So the next one is project access uh, metric final well, look. Can I just have one question on that? So Elizabeth, you said that that one was released. The inclusivity metric it was, was it released. Mm -hmm. Is it basically released without any of that pink text that you added? Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Is it on the website? I think so. I can double check that though. So project access, I guess this one was uh, pretty near completion, as uh, I understand it. Do we want to take a minute and pass through this one with an edit, or I'll share the link in the chat. It might be interesting, by the way, uh, going back to the uh, uh, event location. We now have we now have three event location metrics. It might be interesting to see what those look like together in a model. Uh, What's accessibility, the in, accessibility, inclusivity, and equity. Okay. So, just something to think about in the future. What do people want to do with this? Well, this is a, I think we should spend some time on it just because this is yeah. a metric that is going to be part of the DEI.MD file. Yeah. I know. And it'd be nice yeah. to kind of get it out there. Yeah, get this, get, get ourselves kind of settled on this. Is the DEI.MD file a way of, I guess it's an assertion about project status, but it's a little bit circular to have it in the data collection. Well, then, then just, yeah, I mean, I get it. Just remove it. I mean, I think a lot of this is just kind of brainstorming. And Kevin, remind me, is this the one that you had kind of put together? You and I had been chatting on those last two metrics. Uh, I had proposed both of these. Uh, you had I taken think I the lead. You had taken the lead on this one. I had taken the lead on the other one. Okay. Kind of remembering. Uh, but I've, I've already, I have already heavily edited this one, I think. Yeah. I think we've both taken a look at each other's. It just has uh, to bring them here. 
And then I just added some accessibility points and reference. Yeah. I'm just kind of looking through the considerations here and trying to give people something concrete to actually evaluate. Continuous attention to patient and published hmm. How would they demonstrate that continuous attention to implementation of published accessibility standards? Um, Maybe something like, does the project have a um, system in place for periodic accessibility audits, something like that, maybe? Because those accessibility guidelines change with time. So it's not like a one and done thing. It's something that they should, if possible, keep keep up with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, no, nothing stays the same on the internet. Globally friendly meetings that are not only US friendly, not only friendly. Okay. Um, meetings in diverse locations. What does the project have? Um, does the project actively reach out to a diverse global population? Um, for contra contribution. Support. Um, that actually seems pretty straightforward. Okay. Are there particular languages that we recommend having translated, or are we just talking about like a WordPress plugin for language translation? <clears throat> I don't think we have anything. Well, like on Chaos, we do. We do have a language translation plugin on our WordPress website, and I'm kind oh, of asking. Question. Yeah, I know. I don't think we have anything at least recommended here in this metric. I mean, Kevin could put what he uses on what he used on the WordPress one. Yeah, it might be. It might be in our best interest to just go with the uh, the web co web content accessibility guidelines and let let the details of that uh, exist outside of this document. Is that a is that an accessibility thing? The translation? Yeah, I think translation is an accessibility issue. Uh, I mean, if it is, then we could just move it under uh, as a question under web content accessibility guidelines. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, yeah, I think tra translation is definitely an accessibility uh, issue. Okay. Elizabeth, on the survey that we ran with the chaos project, the, are there questions about this, like access? Do you remember? I believe there are. We might yeah. want to, down in data collection strategies, link to our blog post. Okay. I'll double check that. Yeah, let me double okay. check that. So I will, I mean, I'll just say this, and I think this came up last time. What we have talked about with respect to access does seem a bit different than accessibility. And I know that there's a desire to have the accessibility components 
for the project badging. Um, but I think this metric way more focuses on things like access to technology, access to meetings, like global meetings, like even the regional chapters, like access to folks kind of in your, your same area. Um, and we this metric doesn't really address things like what we've talked about before, like, you know, the use of screen readers or colorblindness. And we're kind of just sh shoving all of that into one point and not, we're just kind of, I feel like we're just kind of glossing over it a little bit. Accessibility. Accessibility. And so I do, I do still yeah. struggle with this just a little bit. So when we, when we last talked about this, I think I was in favor of having a, a separate project accessibility metric similar to, uh, that's maybe that's a trend with me that I, <laughs> Uh, similar to the conversation we we're having about the the previous metric, uh, I'm I'm okay including it here because I I do think that project access is inclusive of accessibility. Uh, but I do agree with you that this metric is getting when we when we include those those general accessibility concepts, this metric does become uh, heavier. Is there a is there a word? Uh, project access is fine. Access is fine. Um, maybe just like we all kind of agree that down the road we might want to break this out into a full I think project it, accessibility metric. Yeah, I think I think helpful. in the future we could do that. I I think it's useful since most people are introduced to open source through the internet that we address website accessibility in a small way like we have here mm -hmm. um, because if, if you speak a language that's not english and there's no translation on the website you can't even begin um, but presumably if you don't speak english that well you, and you're committing to, contributing to open source you probably know the computer code version of it because most projects use english as the underlying you know human language I think I think you're right, Matt. I would really like to see it maybe broken out and, and explained a little more and gone into a little more detail. Mm -hmm. um, I think for for this purpose, I would I, I'm okay personally with keeping it in as just like a, an umbrella of, of project access. And like Kevin said, it's a component of it. Accessibility, mm -hmm. the traditional accessibility, is a component of it. Because I think this also does touch on things like chat platform inclusivity and different like neurodiversity uh, accessibility issues that um, are, are also explicitly brought out and mentioned. So I think it's okay for now. Um, and then, you know, as we go, I would, I would rather see it be in this and this be part of the DEI.MD file than like a separate metric that kind of doesn't get in, involved. I, yeah, you know? I, I agree. I mean, I totally agree. It's just a note for the future. I mean, we do have a separate like event accessibility, so it would make se sense mm -hmm. if we wanted to do a project accessibility metric as well. It's just how do we integrate it with this and make sure it gets attention and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. When, That's fair. Uh, I think when uh, when I initially had proposed this one, it was it was really just about basic access uh, because I was thinking this is a bronze level metric. Let's just start at the the just basic access like technology access uh, or can or you can go to conferences that are and then I was but I was thinking that accessibility is a deeper dive that we'd maybe look at for a silver or a gold metric right where we where we dive deeper into uh or a silver or a gold batch where we dive deeper into specific components of accessibility right so you have access but how accessible is or how accessible is it for everyone? I do have a I have a future colleague who does uh, research on uh, uh, accessibility. That's her. That's her focus. That's all she does. Uh, that might be an opportunity to uh, maybe invite her in and uh, yeah. Uh, is she here? 
What's that? Is she here? At like, Creighton. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So on this um, on this metric, I will, it looks like the comments on this are mostly just to provide clarity, to be honest with you. It doesn't look like there were any fundamental changes to the metric. So I'll just kind of go through and clean that up. And then what I'll do is I'll share it in Slack later today for folks. And then with the intention of kind of finalizing it next week, if that works for, for both of you. Yeah, it works for me. Okay. I would really like to get um, Demetrius to look at it as well, just to get her input sure. on things. Um, yeah. I, I sent it to her, so I'm not sure if she will have a chance to look at that, but yeah. I would like, I, you know. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Does that work for you, Kevin? Kevin, Kevin, that work for you? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I shook my head. I didn't realize he didn't. Oh, see. I was not looking. Um, <laughs> I, was, I was pulling up on the, a different metric. I was pulling yeah. up the communication transparency metric is what I was doing. No, I, I, I like this metric. I think it's coming together. Okay. And I, uh, I think the plan for maybe uh, doing a accessibility metric later at a later date is uh, a good one. Okay. So. okay. Um, this was the and the reason that I'm putting this metric in here because it, it's falling into the same category as project access, which is a metric that we're going to use for the bronze level badge. And the hope would be that maybe by next week we could do the same thing, kind of conclude this, um, just so the metrics part of the DEI.MD file uh, is complete. So could you, I put the link in the chat. Did I put the right link in the chat? I don't know what I put. Yeah, I'm in there. I'm, I'm okay. looking at this chaos community though, so it may. Okay, and you're looking at communication transparency? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Actually, you came in as a jackalope. <laughs> nice. We're just giving this a read, right? That would be that would be really helpful. Do we want to pause I, or not? I don't care. Okay, we'll just let it go. fast forward. Yeah. <laughs>
I feel like I was supposed to write a few questions on the data collection strategies. When I saw that, I'm like, that seems very familiar to me. We could just leave it to the person implementing. Just just come up with some questions. That's that's all the guidance we're gonna give you. Just survey questions. <laughs> Where's our we have a like a model for survey questions? It's like a zero to X. Yeah. You might want to look at like I think project burnout has a good that metric. Has a good uh structure for that. Could you, Elizabeth and Kevin, could, I'm writing some a few questions here. Could you both just maybe write like one question that comes to your mind? See that section? Okay. This is getting some nice edits.
So Elizabeth, would you be okay to clean this one up? Like kind of accept changes because Kevin has the project access or wait, I'm doing project access and Kevin's starting that, the. That location. Yeah, yeah. the, the yeah. equity one. And that way we I can take all this no problem. Okay. And again, this is, I think, with an eye on kind of concluding these two next week, outside of minor changes at that point, project access and communication transparency. All right. Um, I did have one last thing. This is also for you, Elizabeth. Can you, do you see on the top of page two? Can you update, I don't know if I can, can you update the calendar invite that gets rid of the mailing list? Comment. You're muted. Sorry, what are you looking at? If you go to the top of page two. Of the, oh, of the This is what agenda. the invite looks like, yeah. Okay, You yeah. see the join DEI mailing list. Got you, got you, got you. Delete that. Yeah, let me just give myself a little reminder. Cool, thank you. I accidentally clicked on it to join this meeting today. And I was like, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> where what is I? it? Does it just take you to a broken link or where does it take no, you? No, it takes you to like the mailman archives. Yeah. So, yeah. But yeah, we'll fix that. Okay, thanks. Okay. All right, there. We did a lot of good stuff today. Yay. Productive. All right. Um, any comments from anybody? You good, Elizabeth? You Kevin, good? You good? Yeah. All righty. Till next time, everybody. It's good to see you all. See ya. Bye. Bye.